Hi guys, this is Mitch King with the Monday morning, March 8, 2010 Daily Stock Report with Trade Stocks America. Here's the Dow 30, up 1.2% on Friday after the jobs report were pleasantly surprising, very strong. This is the one index that's lagging behind the others to approaching this high there. And you guys have been hearing me talk about this next point, of which is important to break through, is that January 11th through 19th high. And this market's definitely stronger than I had expected, which is a nice, pleasant surprise. You're looking at the NASDAQ composite right here, and this now officially has exceeded this high from Friday's right here to the high on January 10th right there. So this is officially broken through. So if you want to say that this is a bull market, a bull run continuing, that that was just a pullback we had, that we are now resuming the bull run that started March 10th last year. So looking at that low right here on that March 10th would be right in there. And we've just now continued. So the very possibly the scenario is that this, this yellow arrow on the right represents the uptrend continuing. And this big dip that we had here was bigger than we've had before. A bigger drop and that lasted longer than the previous dips. The buy on the dips has occurred so many times all the way through this whole process on here. The higher it goes, the bigger drop you're going to have and the longer period of time it's going to take to rebound upward. And that's just what we saw here in the NASDAQ. Let's move on a couple other indexes. Here's the S&P 500, not quite broken through. That high is set in January 19th for this index. Now here's the Russell 2000, which we're going to start watching now because this represents the small caps, and this clearly busted right through this on Thursday and substantially strong on Friday, going up 2.1% on Friday. So there you can see back here, third week of January right here, that's showing that high, and now we just broken right through that. So real bullish sign. This kind of opens a little bit of the dam gates to allow water to get through, which means to me that stocks are pretty likely to start moving up higher and high. That's sort of a psychological and a technical barrier, and the Russell 2000 here is moving. The Russell 2000 is a group of small cap stocks. Let's cover a handful of other stocks. Here's ASMI, ASM International. Up 3.4% on Friday. Real big move. Thought this was going to turn over. It started to look like that, so getting ready to sell that long position. Gapped up really nicely at the opening. And this number right here, the first one on the left, is the opening price on this particular charting, which is Warden Brothers Telechart. So 24.78 was the opening, which was just under the high, about 40 cents. But real nice move here. Hang on to this until it really starts to look like it's going to turn over. Here's First Solar, FSLR, looking like a dog here. Real concerned about this downtrend could continue. This has been going on for some period of time. Let's take a little longer view of this. And we're looking at last May as when that peak and when this thing turned over. So just let's just draw a line. And this is pretty much what's been happening here. I was looking for a little bit of a bounce to get up there, but this isn't looking too good on a short term. So consider pulling the trigger to close that one. And here's the daily chart that's... Look like that could be heading down. Here's that NBG, National Bank of Greece. A couple of times we tried this one, and now we're on the right track where this is starting to move up as the news on Greece looks like it's going to be supported by the European community on their debt problem. They're making them cry uncle first before they hand over the money or work out a deal. But it looks like this is going to be happening fairly soon. And this is considered as the premier bank of their country. All the Greek stocks have been dragged down with this news on the government debt. So this is a good hold. Looking for this thing to get over five to mid fives and on, on the next stop. And then we'll look at how this thing acts from there. And maybe moving on up into the six and sevens. Here's Panel, a stock, P-A-N-L, a stock that we've had for just a short period of time within last week. Moved up 4% on Friday after about five good days in a row. So... This is real strong. Looking to uh, start reducing this as it starts moving up here, probably Monday or Tuesday. And this bull run that we're going on in the market should carry over into next week. My general philosophy is when it gets close to some target prices and the market starts to waver, if, if the market still is moving up, then we hold on a little longer, but start reducing that as things start flattening and pulling back. HTCH, Hutchinson Technology, starting to move up a little more. 
storage technology. The, the data storage devices have always been a, a little bit more of a cyclical type of move, and when they all are, when they're all in the dumps, they all look like this. And but it's starting to move up a little bit. We're trying to see this get into the mid sevens, upper sevens, and then maybe some momentum could get going on this. Here's AN, which is Auto Nation, which is a group of auto dealerships. Made a new high of up 2% on Friday, so this now surpassed its previous resistance, which was also in February. So now we're clearing the way. The stocks are kind of clearing the way for higher movement. Uh, there's a lot of bullish movement here. And here's TF, Telefonica. Nice move here, up 2.5% on Friday. Nice trend, nothing wrong with this one. Just keep on hanging on this one. This should be able to be held for a period of time longer than a typical swing or short-term intermediates. Now here's TiVo, the stock, T-I-V-O, had a good ruling on Thursday. A higher court supported a lower court ruling on a $300 million judgment against Dish Network, which is the cable TV company by Rupert Murdoch, I believe. Moved up another 6% at the close. This could be a bull short, but I'd rather keep this as a great intraday scalping throughout the day on the long side so far. But we'll just keep an eye on this, how this acts. I, I think it's a little too dangerous to be a bull short and short into it, especially since this court ruling that they expect $300 more million. This is a small company because it only has about $18 million in the float, maybe $20 million shares outstanding. So $300 million to this company would move this stock into the upper 20s to 30. And this does have a target price by one of these analysts of 27. So I think this is going to be bullish for a little while. Don't be in a hurry to jump on this on the short side for an overnight position. Look for these on the intraday scalping. Really excellent signals coming on out of this one. So hope you guys are having a great weekend. You guys take care. Put the odds in your favor. Don't get leveraged. We'll talk to you on Monday night.